Sick. Uh, I should. Do you have a timer, or do I get my own? Uh, I have a timer. Sweet. All right. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Give me a countdown. Yeah. Just quick before I start the run, the first planet is like really, really difficult. So in-depth commentary will probably only be done on like the later-ish planets. But I'll say right now. The weapon I'm holding right now is the Walloper, and it helps me gain a lot of speed, so I'll try and explain that. But it's very likely I could die in the first planet, but other than that, uh, if I do die, just expect it. It's a very, very hard planet if you do the hardest strats, which I'm going to be doing. So, I'm ready. Alright, All right. I'll, I'll mm -hmm. count down from three. Uh, on go. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Good luck. Thank you. Alright, so we got rack one here. Uh, so already, uh, I'm just gonna pull that a little bit safe. Right off the bat you're gonna see me using the Walloper, um, which helps me just gain a lot of speed. This is one of the hardest jumps in the whole game, actually. So let's hope I get it. Alright, and... Uh, nope, didn't get it. Alright, it's fine. Because of that, you actually have to start the planet all over, which is uh, why I have as many resets in this game as I do. Oh boy. This is like Skitz's run, where the first planet just goes to poop. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, a lot of people assume that I just reset because I'm like really picky, but to get past this planet using the hardest strats is actually really, really hard. This is a pretty good angle, maybe this will work. We'll do that, just for the safety. I really don't like doing that, but we're gonna have to, I guess. Alright. So, right there, that's the first planet, that's Velden 1. Coming up is Novalis. Um, currently, I have the record in this game on 2343, uh, by quite a large margin over second place. So, hopefully, my goal is to get what is above second place, which is 2615. This jump's kind of bad. Okay, good. I'm a little rusty. Uh, I got caught on the invisible wall there. That was dumb. Uh, the rust is definitely pretty real. So this is another really hard strat coming up. Um, this should be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wallop her. And very nice, I got the strat. going to wallop her and shoot the rhino. So I kill all the enemies, start the cutscene, and get on the elevator so that I get the coordinates to the next planet while I'm on the elevator um, so that obviously I save a little bit of time on traveling so that while I'm on the elevator in the cutscene I'm still moving um, so that that is that planet I do believe is in my opinion it's easier than Velden 1 but it can, can still be kind of iffy uh, this planet's not too bad but hopefully I don't get uh, a dropped input I, I feel like there's some dropped inputs that kinda happen on this planet um, so let's see what happens here. Alright. Oh boy. I need to wallop her out. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna do the... I'm gonna do a side flip here. And then we're just gonna do something called infinite jumping. Uh, infinite jumping is essentially opening the Gadgetron PDA because this is New Game Plus. I have everything. Uh, I can open the PDA, hold L1, and then it like resets my height. So whenever I swing the wrench, I can do a new jump out of the PDA, which is really useful, which I'm going to do right here. Right there in the shop, I skipped the cutscene really fast, but I bought the helipack for a thousand bolts. Obviously bolts don't matter in New Game Plus, you have as many as you want, as long as it's required to beat the game, of course. Um, so what you can do with uh, the helipack is you can actually gain a lot of speed with it, which you can see I did right, I'm doing right here, I'm gaining a ton of speed the helipack. Uh, I'm doing something called neutral long jumps, which uh, the name is there for a reason. You long jump normally, which is uh, hold up R1 and X, and then whenever you press R1 and X while not holding up several times in a row, you uh, actually gain speed just progressively for as many neutral long jumps. I do believe it caps at some point, but um, you can gain a lot of speed with that. So, what I did right there is I'm actually not supposed to be moving on this train. One of the enemies hit me, and so I was able to gain movement throughout this, and so I moved to the end of the train before I was even supposed to be starting to move, so I saved a lot of time with that. 
So then we get the info bot, which is the, you know, main source of getting to the next planet. And we hit the sweet spot. Very nice. That's pretty hard. That's pretty rare to get, where uh, you get through the side of the train there and get in the ship right away. Uh, I want to say it's about a 1 in 5 for me, personally. The consistency is really low on that jump. Um, so, coming up is, uh, this is the shortest planet in the run, which you're going to see why. It's literally about 15 seconds. So we're going to get in this corner right here, throw a decoy glove at the wall. Very easy setup, and that clips us through the wall, and literally that just gets us to the next planet, which is the Blark Station. I'm going to be keeping the decoy glove out because I'm going to need that for the Blark, uh, for the, for the Blark Station. I'm going to need to clip through a wall as well here. So I just want to, so I just want to hit up my people in chat. Uh, I want to, I want to see some King Furries, because King Furry is the best emote on Twitch. Alrighty. So, uh, again, I want to mention that I actually skipped the second half of Kerwan, the second planet, or third, counting Veldin 1. Um, so yeah, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna do this clip first. This clip's actually pretty precise, so I'm gonna take it a little slow. Just gonna walk up here, press L1. That should work. Nice, that's the hard one. This is the easy one. All you want is this white line to be in the middle of the screen, which it wasn't entirely, so I fucked it up. So now what I can do is hold L1, press an in or play an in level movie, and I can actually skip the animation of the pod driving us back. For some reason you can't do it forward, but you can do it backwards. Uh, it's because the pod is actually moving outside of the, uh, the thing. Uh, I have so many things to commentate. Okay, so this is Realgar. Uh, I will explain this trick coming up right now on the next planet. Uh, but all you need to know is uh, it's actually pretty hard. Uh, what I'm gonna try and do is something called- okay, I'll explain it now. This is infinite long jumping. And essentially it- okay, those are pretty bad, but you'll see a better example pretty soon. Okay, I guess I don't get that SI. Okay, we'll get the backup, it's fine. So what that is, is essentially you do an infinite long jump, which is chaining midair long jumps and side flips together over a certain liquid surface, which in this case Rilgar's water lets you do an infinite long jump. Uh, we're gonna be using that all like a lot on the next planet, but on this planet, it's it's only it's it's a it's actually something you need to do because you uh you don't have the swing shot, which is what I said. I skipped the second part of uh of Kerwan just so I can skip the swing shot because it saves about twenty or thirty seconds throughout the whole run. Uh, I'm gonna redo this because it looks cool and I want to get in the marathon. I'm pretty sure it was. Just as fast to get the death warp, but there you go. Very nice. So that's what that looks like. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm long jumping over the edge, and I'm just spamming R1 and um, and one of the D-pad side directions, and you uh, are allowed to do an infinite long jump. We're going to be using it again here. So I'm going to use a new glitch called Ghost Ratchet, which is basically canceling my own death. So what I'm going to do is neutral uh, an infinite long jump there die, and then as soon as I'm about to die, I open an in-level movie, and it allows me to go under the level. So now the game thinks I'm dead. So what I can do when the game thinks I'm dead is I can go through walls. This requires very intense smashing. I apologize. Uh, and that's the end of the level. <laughs> I'm very- I'm, I'm happy if that's the first time you saw that, because it's pretty cool. Um. So whenever you die, you're allowed to go through walls, or you get Ghost Ratchet, you can go through walls, and it also removes the speed cap from Infinite Long Jump, so I just go berserk with the speed, and I just go when an infinite, you know, amount of speed. So those two planets were actually some of the hard ones. This is the third hardest planet, probably. Uh, just because there's no Infinite Long Jumps, but this is the most movement-intensive planet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try and chain movement together really precisely. By opening the PDM, resetting my my speed cap here, and I'm gonna try and and get this to the point where I can clip through this mountain right here. Very nice. I got it. 
If you can keep the speed throughout that entire section, you can do that, what's just called mountain clip. I found that a little while ago, about a month ago or so. Okay, I, I held back on accident on the D-pad there, so I lost my speed. It's fine. We're gonna get those. Uh, you can't actually, uh, get on- stand on that and j high jump off of it, unless you break it, so I have to. So right here, we're gonna do, um... A YOLO punch, right there. And now we're going to... Oh, this is good. This is really good. This is bad. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so what I attempted to do there was a mid-air long jump at the end of that, uh, you know, speed section, which we call a speedy A. You do a walloper into uh, a speedy A, which is just kind of buffering your speed. So the more long jumps you do when you open the PDA and close it, uh, you know, you just gain more speed. And um, and yeah, I I missed that. I missed the mid-air long jump, which is that right there. Mid-air long jumping is canceling a a side flip into a long jump, so it's a it's a mid-air one. It's a, it's a, it's one that's higher, and it also gains you you know gains you more height, gains you more length. And I could actually fly to that little platform at the end of Italia without opening the PDA once. Well, I had to open it once for the glide, but without doing infinite jumps. So, coming up is diff something different here. This is Clank Proxy. I'm gonna open an in level movie to clip into that. And I'm gonna punch right there. And it launches me up and getting uh, into the info pot. And this is a real. This is probably the best trick in the entire game, to be honest, because. You will have to sit through a four or five minutes uh, long clank section on this planet, just ca playing through it casually, completely glitchless, which is boring as hell. So the fact that that's managed, you know, be a thing is, is just awesome. It's a new game plus only thing because you can't play in level movies in any percent. Uh, in any percent and all gold bolts, you're gonna have to play through the clank section, which kind of sucks. But you know, that's that's why I only play this category. <laughs> Oh, oops, I got the glitch. Okay. You guys are gonna see something pretty funny now. Okay, so if you mess up your muscle memory, you're gonna see Ratchet and Clank just kind of floating there. If you press all the... So I usually press all the right side of the analog stick buttons. Or, like, you know, triangle, X, circle, square. Uh, to skip through the uh, ship leaving and coming to the planet kind of thing. If you, uh, if you miss that... If you mash all those buttons, specifically on Orkson... Uh, you will get some weird glitch where Ratchet and Clank just won't leave the planet and you're gonna have to reselect the planet. So I guess I didn't explain slope intercepting. Um, it's not very important in this run anymore, surprisingly, but slope intercepting is essentially what I did to get up that mountain. Um, some surfaces, if you just high jump, glide downwards and just mash X, uh, or kind of tap it, I guess. It's not really mashing. You, you can get it out of the way if you just tap. Um, you can get a, uh, a slope intercept, which is a, you know, a high jump. It's a high jump that, uh, that you can kind of just reset the height of. So you can do several of those, and it helped me earlier in Realgar, as you saw. I just managed to get up, so, uh, and, uh, you know, I don't know what to call it, like a rail with slope intercepting. So, uh, everybody, if you have FFZ, time to spam the guy. This is a pretty good, uh... This is, uh, this is, this is, this is the guy. So I want to, I want people to, to spam the guy. Right here. So this guy, I don't know, he doesn't really have a name, but it's like the meme that, you know, he's just the guy. That's, he's, like, he has a couple, like, alt names, like, the resorts owner, the Pokitaru resortsman, or something like that. But we just call him the guy, because, you know, memes. So this is the auto scroll of the run, which is, I'm pretty happy to, to play in a marathon setting, because... I've been commentating, like, so much that, like, I've had so much to explain that it's just really hard to cover everything. So the fact that we get to play an auto-scroller is actually a pretty, pretty blessing for me. It's not a big auto-scroller, so no worries. We're not gonna sit through a whole lot. We're just gonna sit through, like, these two boat rides, and then we're gonna have to carry the resortsmen to the end, but there's some pretty exciting stuff at the end of the planet. Uh, the goal of the planet right now is we're escorting the resortsmen to the end of the planet to get into his jet fighter so that we can destroy these things that are dumping poop into the ocean or whatever the hell it is. It, it's, I'm assuming it's toxic waste, but you know, I, 
I like the word poop. This is the DJ Nahamathon after all. So I'm gonna try and kill these enemies. Doesn't matter if I don't. I'm gonna kill the enemies while they're up there. Gonna shoot a missile there. Gonna shoot one here. This makes my job a little easier. Right. So we're at the end here. I'm gonna wait for the guy to come up and stand still here. And now we're just gonna move. Okay, so those fish I shot earlier, they're gone up here. And now we're gonna clean this area up here. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Shoot the rhino and press the button. I didn't press the button as fast as possible just because you want the guy to not get stuck on the on the things. Which was which he didn't, so that was perfect. So we're gonna shoot some more devastator. Alright, this is pretty good. Alright, we might not get this. Alright, we'll do the backup. Alright, we're gonna get the clip in, but not the clip out. You can clip out and hit the button. I would not have gotten that. No way. Okay, so this is Pokitaro 1 cycle, hopefully. So what, I, what my goal right now is uh, to actually... Okay, this is... Good. I got good RNG, so I, I actually screwed up a lot, but I got good RNG, so it's nice. So these Blark ships can uh, can drop two things. They can drop ammo or or health, and health is essentially useless in this in this case. So all you want is ammo, and I got like really good RNG. You can sometimes have it where they don't drop a single ammo drop, and I think I got like five, so that was really good. That was perfect. That was pretty sick. All right, so that's Pokitaro. Uh, so yeah, by the way, I clicked through the door. Uh, to get into the thruster pack area, uh, just because it saves a little bit of time, because you get warped right in front of the button uh, afterwards. You can you can go into the shop and clip clip in, clip out, and hit the button, which saves about three seconds. But I was too slow. I was trying to go for the side flip, which is like kind of a little bit of a faster strat, but I missed it. So this is Orkson. This is probably one of the coolest planets, maybe sixth hardest. Just because there's a lot of movement. I wouldn't say I mess it up a lot, but it's pretty hard to get completely perfect. So, uh, first of all, we're gonna... The goal is to get this info bot... Oh, okay, good. The goal is to get this info bot to move from place to place. So we're gonna get him there and get him up there. There's, a, there's actually a couple swing shot pads that you uh, use right there, but we don't have the swing shot. Uh, but you did back in the old route, which got the swing shot, which is slower now, but yeah. That was really good movement. So, basically, I'm doing uh, infinite jumps with the thruster pack now, which is called ground pound cancels. Which just gains me a little bit of height. Essentially, I'm just canceling a ground pound into a thrust forward. It gains me a little bit of height. This is uh, this is not a door that's supposed to be closed because of I glitched. Whoa, okay, I pulled a nuka. <laughs> so this is not a door that's supposed to be closed because of the we glitched the clank section on Orcs on One, um, because we did the proxy. All the doors are like closed and shit like that. But you can just click through it like that. I guess they were they didn't really expect you to to get that. So yeah. So I clicked through the floor accidentally, which happened in one of the best rack one runs of all time. <laughs> The 3028 by Nuka Duka. So this is a pretty weird planet because you can actually it's it's a very tall planet and the goal is to get to the very top, which you can see up to that ship right there. Oh okay. That was close. So I'm gonna pull out the rhino here. And I'm gonna do some infinite side flips right here. It's kind of a weird trick to explain. But it works a little bit like infinite long jumps, except that side flips. We're gonna walk into the turret, play an in-level movie, watch it for like a half second, and now I'm actually doing something kind of weird. You're not actually seeing it, but I'm actually outside. Ratchet is outside the turret, even though I'm actually controlling it. And I'm capable of shooting the Rhino while I'm controlling the turret, so I'm controlling two things at once at the moment. So this that was really good. That's the most important part of the ship fight, is just to get those two together. And the reason this saves time is because uh, 
all the other enemies. You don't have to go out of your way to shoot them. You will die if you don't shoot them, but with the with the rhino, you can just kill them really, really easily. And that was perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna do the hardest right here. Switch to the heli pack and do another small infinite long jump right there. Get in the ship, and this is the hardest planet. Personal. Start this planet to perfect. So what I have to do is I have to do a walloper punch into like a series of long jumps that's going to get me into a cutscene. And to not drop the speed is just really hard. It, requ it requires a, like so much because I have to pull out the. Oh, oops. Okay, here we go. That's good. Now I'm going to do the long jumps. Okay, that was bad. Uh, the drone device did not come out a second time, which is kind of unfortunate, but I got the backup, so it's okay. And it's not over yet. We still have to do this. So, I'm supposed to be fighting Quark right now, but whenever you hit the end of the airstrip there, you can somehow... The game takes it as if you skip the fight, so we just skipped it somehow. I don't, I don't really know. Nobody really knows why that works, but it just does. Alright, pretty sick. Okay, so Ultanus. I'm gonna go for the hard strat. This is another top five hardest planets, probably. Just because of this one strat. That should be good. Okay, I missed it. That sucks. You have to double jump very late, and if you double jump slightly too late, you drop it. So I dropped it. We're gonna do the backup here. I was supposed to land on the platform that I just climbed up on. And uh, literally, you can just get out of bounds right there. Uh, they just left a hole in the wall. It's not even a clip or anything. They just kind of left it there. So I can get up that, and I can get to the end of the planet pretty easily. So believe it or not, we have to really have like a couple... Only like three planets to go. Quar 2, Drex Fleet, and Belden 2. So coming up is Quar 2. Uh, I'm gonna try uh, to do some weird movement that's gonna allow me... Well, I'm gonna do a weird trick that allows me to glide up the... The... Uh, the side of a slide. I, I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it, but you're, you're gonna see for yourself. So I'm just gonna kill this guy first, because he's gonna be in my way. I'm gonna line that up, and I'm gonna land right there. That's a pretty good lineup, fine by yours truly. And now I'm gonna thrust up this, and now for some reason the game can stick you to the side of the slide here. And it allows me to go up this. This slide is what actually ends the level. So... Also, here's a weird trick. You toss the decoy, and shoot it with the, the Tesla, there's a robot on the other side that just... The, like, the, the chain lightning links together with the robot, and whenever you kill the robot, that's what ends the level. Alright, I got a ledge grab there, it's a little slow. And there you go. Most of these levels are done, like, really backwards, or just to, you know, obviously get to the end as fast as you can, but they're just really, really broken. Uh, you know, it's just kind of absurd that we found out you can skip the grind boots, the swing shot, just all these items that you're supposed to beat the game with. Um, and this is also supposedly faster on PS3 by 10 seconds. Um... What I'm doing now is I'm doing ground pound cancels all the way up through space to get to the end of the level, which is all the way over there. So I'm gonna have to do like about about 20 of these. Uh, this is a lot less exciting than playing the the, the game or the the level normally, which was the old strat, but this was found to be faster. The reason I'm playing on PAL PS3 specifically, PAL PS3 downloaded is downloaded is because of load times. PS3 is because of the PDA and the uh, load times. You can actually open the PDA uh, and close it like immediately on PS3, whereas you would have to wait a little bit on PS2 because of the load times. Um, I'm playing on PAL because back in the day, uh, uh, when we actually fought the final boss, spoilers, we're gonna skip him, <laughs> uh, it was actually faster to be on PAL because there was a PAL exclusive glitch that allows you to deal a crap ton of damage to him with the pyre, with the Um But we skip him. 
which is uh, shown right here. The way we're going to skip him is if you beat Drek on a previous file, and then you do the skip I'm about to do, which is uh, really weird, but... It, which is basically we're going to be gaining a crap ton of height with these ground pound in level movies. And, uh, yeah. You just go really high up, and for some reason this manages to skip the boss. I actually have a highlight of me just skipping this. Or, or finding this randomly, and then we manage to get it in runs. So, Reek, I don't know if you're here, but uh, time's coming up in like a minute or so. So, yeah. It's like a minute, not, not you know, anytime too soon. So, I'm pretty sure this run went like pretty good, so it should be like a sub 25 at least. If not like a 25 10 or something like that at worst. So I'm going to be a little bit careful to not hit the... There's actually a death plane right below me right now. If I accidentally drop one of these, I might die. I might be able to save it, because I'm actually not too low right now. But right there is the final boss platform that we're flying to right now. And all we need to do is press the button to fire the deplanetizer, and that's the end of the run. So uh, I just want to give a quick shout out. Shout out to my... My homeboys, the chillest boys, shout out to the Rack boys, shout out to everybody who wants to run Rack. Uh, reminder, I need competition in this game, I hope Zen bops my time soon. Even though I did spend a lot of time with my time, I hope, or with this, this game, I hope that he'll bop me in the future. Shout out to the D-Gen Hom boys, for being chill, and Milk for being a patriot, and a fuckboy. I had to say that. Alright, time's coming up, and, and, time. Nice. 25-55. 55? Oh, okay, that's that's pretty bad then. I didn't expect it to be that bad. I guess I did mess up pretty hard. But, okay. What did you expect? I expected like a 20, you know, I don't know. Like a like a twenty five flat or something like that, but that's okay. That was, this wasn't too bad. This still beats the second best time on the leaderboard, which is kind of funny. I did say at the start of the run that was kind of <laughs> kind of my goal. So if I didn't have a PB in this game, this would be world record. I just want to point that out, which is kind of sad because I died so many times. But yeah, there you go. Thanks everyone. I don't know if we peaked the viewer count like I said we would. I'm gonna go check. Uh, yeah, ninety seven. Alright, sweet. You didn't get us to 100, though. What a guy, honestly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh well. Um, Close, though. I'm, I'm confused about... I'm not sure if Patriotic and Fuckboy were, the, at, were together. But, yeah, uh, they were. I, I love you, too. Like we Yo, TVH, the layout's pretty fucking sick. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, chat. Yeah, it is. And uh, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. No prop. All right, I'm gonna. Should I play out the credits, or do you guys wanna? Should I sign off now and we'll switch to the next guy? I think. Uh, I think, I think we're, we're going good to on the next time. guy. Yeah. yeah. All, right. all right. All right. So next up is Super Mustache. Stay fucking tuned. All right. Goodbye. <laughs>